Virtual machines are absolutely incredible. Whether you're aspiring to become a hacker, eager to learn Linux, interested in IT, or simply curious about what a virtual machine is, incorporating them into your life can be a game changer. And that's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. If you're new to the concept of virtual machines, don't worry. We'll start by answering the question, what the heck are they? And explain why you absolutely need one. And hey, if you're diving into the world of hacking, a virtual machine is an absolute must-have. So let's get started. Before we jump into the setup process, let's take a moment to understand what a virtual machine actually is. In simple terms, a virtual machine is like having a computer within a computer. It allows you to run multiple operating systems simultaneously on a single device. By sharing the resources without any interference or conflicts, it's like having a magic portal to a whole new world of possibilities. Yeah, you might be wondering, why do I need a virtual machine? Well, let us enlighten you. A virtual machine provides a safe and isolated environment for experimenting, learning, and testing new software or operating systems. It's a sandbox where you can freely explore without worrying about damaging your main system. Plus, if you're into hacking or cybersecurity, a virtual machine is an essential tool for practicing your skills and testing vulnerabilities. Have you hacked the YouTube algorithm today? So let's do it by subscribing to the Hack Guy channel, liking this video, and commenting whatever you want. Now let's get started with the setup process now. Time to make some magic happen. I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual machine on your laptop or PC. Okay, before we begin, let's quickly go over what you'll need for the setup. First and foremost, you'll need a computer. I mean a real, physical computer. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a super powerful machine. As long as you've bought your computer within the last 10 years, you should be good to go in terms of the CPU. However, when it comes to RAM, I recommend having at least 4 or 8 gigabytes. Anything less than that might cause some issues. Why? Well, because we'll be sharing resources with a virtual machine, and your computer is already using those resources. Yeah, before we jump into setting up the virtual machine, there's one important thing you need to know. Most operating systems come into flavors 30 bit or 64 bit. For example, if you're planning to install Kali Linux as a virtual machine, you'll have the option to choose between the 32-bit or 64-bit version. If you want to use a 64-bit operating system, you'll need to enable hardware virtualization support for your CPU in the BIOS of your computer. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it. But, if you're going with a 32-bit system, you can skip the step and just download the 32-bit images. If you want to support both, then follow along with the next step. Alright, let's get into the bio settings. To do this, simply restart your computer and keep pressing the F1 to key or whichever key is specified for your computer. As it's booting up, this will take you to the BIOS menu. Don't worry if it looks a bit intimidating at first. I'll guide you through it. Once you're in the BIOS, navigate to the Advanced Settings, then CPU Configuration section. Look for a setting called Intel VMX Virtualization Technology. Trust me, you want this enabled. Yeah, keep in mind that your menu might look slightly different from mine. But just keep an eye out for the CPU configuration and the Intel VMX option. Yeah, if you're rocking an AMD CPU, the process is pretty much the same. You'll just be looking for a technology called AMD V to enable. Easy peasy. Right. Yeah. Let's save and exit. Confirm your changes. And voila, you're all set. First things first, you'll need to download the operating system you want to play with. Whether it's Kali Linux, Ubuntu, or Windows, go ahead and start the download now. Keep in mind that these files can be pretty large, so it might take a bit of time. Let's download Kali Linux. To download Kali Linux, just search Kali Linux and click on Download. We need install our image so click here. I am downloading 60 for bit, but if you need 30 to bit you can do so here. After downloading the ISO file, we're finally ready to create our virtual machine. 
Made by Oracle. Completely free. And who doesn't love free stuff? Right. Head over to the VirtualBox website and click on the download section. You'll see a few options for different operating systems like Windows, Mac, Linux, and Solaris. Since I'm demoing on Windows, I'll click on the Windows download. But don't worry, the process should be pretty similar across all the different OS. Alright, now that our downloads are complete, let's install VirtualBox. Just click on the installer package and follow the typical installation process. Click next and accept everything without making any changes. Once the installation is done, launch VirtualBox and get ready to dive into the world of virtual machines. One more thing we have to do before we create our virtual machine. VirtualBox for some reason needs an extension pack to be able to use some other features like connecting USB devices and stuff. And you might want that. So we're going to get back to our web browser and right where we downloaded VirtualBox. If we scroll down just a bit, we'll see right here. VirtualBox extension pack. All supported platforms. Go ahead and download that right now. And done. And actually just go ahead and click on that and we'll start the installation. Yep. Let's install that right now. I agree. And boom. Now we're finally ready. We're finally ready to create our virtual machine. Click on the new button. Since I'm using Kali Linux, my favorite hacking OS, I like to give my virtual machine a cool name like Gorilla's Hive. But hey, I won't offend anyone. So feel free to choose any name you like. The machine folder is where your virtual machine will be stored. The default location is just fine for now. Next, let's select ISO file which we have downloaded earlier. This will auto-select the machine type. If it does not do that you can select it manually. In our case, it's going to be a Linux machine. However, you have other options like Mac OS and Microsoft Windows if you prefer. Yeah. When it comes to choosing the version, you won't find Kali Linux listed here. But no worries, Ubuntu 64-bit will do the job just fine since both Kali Linux and Ubuntu are based on Debian. Click Next to proceed. Here's where things get interesting. You get to decide how much of your computer's resources you want to allocate to your virtual machine. Let's start with memory. Be careful not to go overboard here. Giving your virtual machine too much memory can cause performance issues. Oh, just give it enough to get the job done. Think of it as giving your guest a county room to stay in. In my case, my laptop has 16 gigs of memory, so I can afford to be a bit generous. To determine how much memory you can allocate, let's take a quick look at the task manager. Right click on the taskbar, select task manager, and go to the performance tab. This will give you an idea of how much CPU and memory you're currently using. Make sure to check this with all your regular apps open to get an accurate baseline. Based on my usage, I'll allocate 2 gigs of RAM, which is equivalent to 2048 megabytes. Click next to continue. Yeah, we're creating the hard drive for our new virtual machine. It's pretty mind blowing, right? You have a few options here, but if this is your first time, the default option is perfectly fine. Just go with create a virtual hard disk now. By default, it will be 10 to 20 gigs in size. So make sure you have enough space on your hard drive. Click create to proceed. Follow same process and you can install as many operating system. But always consider your system capacity while doing so. And there you have it. We've made it through the initial setup process. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into Type 1 Hypervisor. This was tied to Hypervisor. Type 1 is more awesome, so stay tuned for upcoming video. Congratulations, you've successfully set up your virtual machine. Yeah, let's explore the endless possibilities it offers. From running different operating systems to testing software compatibility, the world is your, whether you're a developer, a student, or simply a tech enthusiast. 
a virtual machine opens up a whole new realm of opportunity. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel The Hack Guy for more exciting content. If you encounter any difficulties, please leave a comment and I will respond as soon as possible. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends who might find it useful. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next videos. Bye.